this is something that might be a student would be better qualified to talk about, but um, I, I, I can tell you what we organise for them and, and my own observations. So there'll be a number of introductions taking place. There'll be a number of, of briefings. So for instance, I'm one of the first people students at my college will see. I do a, an introductory talk, welcoming them to the college, tell them not to panic. We've got 120 new people and none of them know any of the others and everybody's a bit uncertain as to whether they'll make friends and there are all sorts of things that's perfectly natural to be nervous about. But my main slide, I do a PowerPoint presentation and the first, the first slide is don't panic in large friendly letters <laughs> and uh, I go on to talk a bit about how to make the most tutorials and sort of academic stuff. There will be a number of other sessions where other key members of college staff introduce themselves and people learn about how to evacuate in the case of a fire and how to get their meals if they're eating the dining hall and, and things like that. And for many of our students, yeah, and of course, they dutifully attend all of these things, but the highlight is actually the program of events put on by the junior common room, the, the student body, and they put on a program of events to help people get to know other people. You know, so we've got 125 or 120 people who are strangers to each other for the most part to begin with. Uh, they're going to be neighbours, they physically live in the same place. And so we want to, to help them get to know each other. And, you know, some people don't need much help. Others are, are rather more nervous. Actually, I think everybody's nervous, but some people are a bit better at hiding it than others. So there'll be a range of, of social occasions. So there'll be club nights, there'll be film nights, there'll be, uh, there's, there's a, what they call a bop. In my day, so long ago, they called a disco, just showing my age, and various other icebreakers and things like this to, to just help everybody, whatever their interests, get involved. And one of, one of the highlights of the first week will be the university's Freshers Fair, which takes place in a building in the centre of town where all the university student clubs and societies gather to try and persuade you to join and it's 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 glorious chaos and hubbub it's loud and it's raucous and you can pick up all sorts of freebies typically get a free bag from one of the early stalls you go past and fill it with all sorts of flyers from all the other stalls that you go past which you typically then never read <laughs> but it's it's just so full of energy and exciting uh, I mean, it's a bit early to be offering specific advice but basically don't join anything at Freshers Fair you'll have plenty of time to sign up later they they like to offer discount on the membership fee if you join here now right now right now go on and you know you end up spending more if you're not careful but there's always a chance to to go to a few introductory meetings and that's uh, an opportunity to pursue new interests. I, I dabbled in archery myself until you had to pay and then I stopped. <laughs> but being a complete geek, I joined the Astronomical Society and made some lifelong friends there. And so, and there's, there's all sorts of different clubs and societies from ones that, that relate to academic work, science society, French society, whatever, through to the rather more whimsical things like chocolate society, Harry Potter society, mm -hmm. sports of all sorts, from obvious things like football to rather less obvious things like underwater hockey, which I still don't understand. So there's such a, a vast range of things to choose from. There's a smaller scale thing of a college freshers fair. We don't have the same level of population, so we can't offer the same range of clubs and societies. But at the same time, it's an opportunity to get involved in some things, particularly sports or, or music, where you don't face the same level of competition for space on the team as you would in the main university clubs. So that's that's 
another level uh, at which you can benefit. Most people focus on just finding their feet and starting to meet people. Sometimes the people you meet in first week are friends for life. Sometimes you find that the people that are your lifelong friends are the people you met sometime later. It doesn't, doesn't have to happen straight away. And towards the end of the first week, you meet your tutors here at Oxford and they'll outline the initial work plan and say something about how they will be running tutorials and you'll get to meet them. One of the good things about tutorials is you get to know the tutors and they get to know you personally. And that's a really positive thing. It also means that they can write references that are really clearly constructed on knowing you as an individual. And it's not always the case at at every university that, that you can find someone able to do that.